Today I'll be talking about the Omar Ali Saifuddin Mosque located in Brunei. One of its most visible traits is its golden dome, which was created and covered in gold, giving the mosque a nicer appearance and making it stand out more. However, most people do not see the invisible side of this dome, making it look like just another attraction to them. However, this dome means so much more. The dome serves as a reminder of the vastness and eternal character of God and symbolizes Islamic architecture. It also represents the, celest the celestial dome of the heavens. In addition, divinity, purity, and enlightenment are represented by the color gold. Now moving on to the next visible trait that the Omar Ali Saifuddin Mosque has is its facade. The, mo the mosque facade showcases detailed Islamic geometric patterns and calligraphy, beautifully adorned with marble and granite. To others, this may also just seem like another thing to enhance the looks of the mosque and make it look nicer. However, these patterns and calligraphy means a lot more. Intricate geometric patterns that are highly valued in Islamic art and design adorn the mosque front. Stars, polygons, and calligraphic, and calligraphic motifs are just a few examples of the intricate, overlapping shapes frequently used to produce these patterns. They represent the underlying harmony and balance of creation, expressing the Islamic belief in its order and unity. Another significant element of the mosque front is, its, is the Islamic calligraphy. The walls, arches, arches and pillars of the building are, or are ornately etched with Arabic phrases from the Quran, the sacred book of Islam. Calligraphy is considered a highly admired art form in Islamic culture, and it serves as a visual representation of the divine word and, and the importance of the spoken and written word in Islamic worship. The facade of the mosque was built using high quality materials. These materials not only enhance the looks of the mosque, but also symbolize the strength and timelessness of the Islamic faith. Lastly, the prayer hall of the Omar Ali Saifuddin Mosque. This prayer hall has a lot of space, prayer mats, and was made with acoustic considerations. The prayer hall is designed to accommodate a large number of worshippers. It is typically it, it is typically expensive and open, allowing people to gather and pray comfortably. The spaciousness allows worshippers to feel a sense of belonging and community, contributing to the collective spiritual experience. In the prayer room, mats or carpets are typically are typically laid out to provide worshippers with a sanitary and pleasant surface for kneeling on their feet or praying. In order to emphasize the, the unity and discipline of the congregation, these mats have been set up in a consistent row. The importance of a clear and resonant sound during the call to prayer and Quranic reading is taken into account in the design of the prayer room. In order to increase the acoustics of the space and make sure that the sound is carried in all directions, technical elements such as height and the curvature of ceilings may be precisely designed. In conclusion, the Omar Ali Saifuddin Mosque comes with both visible and invisible traits. The invisible traits were the invisible traits which people can see and the invisible traits that cannot be seen just by looking.